eventually left that goal to pursue a career in mixed martial arts, won the UFC heavyweight title with a win over Fabricio Verdum at UFC 198, defended it in his hometown of Cleveland against Alistair Overeem. They are still all chasing Stipe Miocic in the UFC. Well, so for a long time, Daniel Cormier plied his trade as a heavyweight, then he dropped down to 205 pounds, and of course went on to become the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, training side by side with the likes of Cain Velazquez and Luke Rockhold at AKA in San Jose. Daniel Cormier trying to continue his domination here tonight. Daniel Cormier is a winner, whether it... And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Miacic is 35, Cormier is 38. Miacic weighed in at 200. You ready? You ready? Well, here we are inside the famed O2 Arena in London, England. Good to have you with us as we get underway. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Ooh, tagged him. Cormier gets tagged yet again. It's hard to remember a fight in which he has been hit this often. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, how good is that jab? Working out of that southpaw stance. Tagged him. Cormier gets caught with that punch. Good work on the feet by DC. Right hand upstairs. Showing that punch. Good combinations landing here. That punch will work right through the guard. Hurt him with that uppercut, Joe. Big oh. kick to the head. He's hurt. He's stunned. Miocic appears wobbling. stoppage and I think it was the right call you didn't want to see the opponent absorb any further damage and both men will live to fight another day but for the winner this is exactly the highlight he needed here tonight let's see it one more time now we go inside the octagon Bruce Buffer with the official decision ladies and gentlemen referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes 47 seconds of the very first round declaring the winner by TKO Daniel D.C. All right, so a big win.